Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. And, uh, of course, today is Art Kirsch and my day to blog. And uh, this is the founder's blog because the Art's a founder. The vlog. Yeah. The vlog. Well, Art's a founder, but I'm a flounder. So we can have a <laughs> founder's blog or a flounder's blog. Boy, but is if, he lucky I don't eat fish. <laughs> if I pick this topic, it'll be a flounder's blog. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, oh, could you introduce? I've got to pick the topic. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's see. So I think today we'll talk about um, our, nope, our, grand, talk our about great, no, great no, grandkids no, going back no, to no, school. Not that one. No, yep. pick another one. No, no, because uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., we're actually, because uh, Mike has an early assignment, we're taking the kids to school. So it's really fresh in my mind. It's back to school. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's September. Yep. For, and we have we have a we have a, what do they call a gaggle of grandkids? Is that yeah. what it is, or is it a troop? Yeah, I think sometimes they they're like monkeys. So that our troop of grandkids, little ones, are going back to uh, back the to elementary school. We're driving them. Yeah, we're driving them tomorrow, but not not every day. Uh, but last year, I remember we used to have um, assignments where we would go and we would be with them at home online for four or five hours. Wow. And we would be uh, the theoretically the person in charge. Ha, ha, ha. Little did we know that they ran the place. Now, what grade were they in that you were actually with them online? Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, when uh, Mike was out on assignment or uh, 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 Matika was, uh, was actually working at the schools, from time to time, sometimes we would be with them all day long, and uh, uh, be with them online. Here, it's just drop off, see ya, and then uh, either the other grandparent or somebody else picks them up. Back to normal. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the way it ought to be. That's the way God meant it to be. Drop them off. Oh, so now we're talking about religion, are we? I thought we weren't going to talk religion or politics. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so anyway, but uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, mm -hmm. with. Uh, I, of course, everybody's anxious for the kids to be back in school, not only so the parents can have a, a normal uh, work, because people people depend on having their kids in school so that they're someplace when they have to go out to work, and oftentimes they're uh, both, or if there's only one parent, one parent is out working, so the school is, in addition to a place of learning, it's a place for the kids to be during the day. Sure. And, uh, but now with the pandemic and its variations uh there's all sorts of questions vaccinated not vaccinated mask no mask all those kind of things but i can tell you uh, and i don't know about you john and our audience uh generally speaking the kids are delighted to be back in school oh yeah uh my grandkids definitely uh, and they seem to be okay with uh online learning mm -hmm. but they didn't thrive. They, they really, I don't think they got anything out of it. First of all, everybody in, in all the families with all the grandkids and their friends said that the teachers weren't really pressing them. There wasn't any real learning teaching going on. There wasn't any real learning going on. Everything was slack, to put it nicely. And, uh, and so I think, quite frankly, most students missed a year of school. If, because of online learning. So it's good to be back in the classroom, whatever the restrictions are uh, that are needed to be safe. We can argue about them, but it's better to be back in the classroom. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's uh, the general agreement. Um, although I, I have to tell you that uh, it's probably a small percentage of the kids um, uh, actually did well and enjoyed the online experience uh, as my, as my uh, now nine-year-old grandson did. Uh, but the uh, soon-to-be uh, seven-year-old uh, granddaughter uh, was just absolutely uh, not happy with it and was really looking forward to getting back to school. And by the second half of last year, both of them had resumed uh, many of their uh, other activities. Uh, one went to uh, uh, Little League and the other one went to gymnastics. And, right. and they, uh, they both did quite well. They 
that gave them their interaction other than the kids in their neighborhood that sort of sure. had like this little group. But I think the biggest thing was, um, and, and to me, uh, I was homeschooled for a couple of years because of a, when I was a little kid. And there's no question for me that the lack of having, uh, I couldn't go back because I, uh, I was confined to home uh, for physical reasons. But when I went back to school, I just absolutely loved it. I loved all the interaction uh, with the other kids, which I didn't have. So uh, yeah. that's, I think, yeah. one of the biggest things that they miss is that. You, you mentioned that uh, you mentioned that some kids do thrive online, you know, like the online experience. And I have to flash back to my grandson last year. I walked in on him very, very quietly, looked over his shoulder as he was in front of the laptop. You know, the class was up there, and uh, I whispered, can I talk to you? You know, can I talk to you? He said, he said oh, yeah, no problem. I'm playing this game over here. Well, all I have to do is sit in the chair. <laughs> right, and they were on Longer mute. They know how to mute it. They see me. Yeah. <laughs> so that, he thrived online, all right. He thrived with playing so, Fortnite or whatever it was on the side. And you know what? Uh, you could make a good living both writing the games, and uh, now they have these big events. So uh, maybe he'll turn pro. Maybe I'll, maybe online was the solution. Uh, anyway, uh, people are getting back to work. Kids are going to school. Um, it all seems to be good, despite the fact that uh, the virus is, uh, what do you call it, uh, variants or oh yeah, that are far mutating. more far, far more uh, uh, transmissible. Uh, but then on the other side, for uh, the uh, uh, now, I guess the majority of people, unfortunately, not kids. Kids are succumbing to uh, becoming sick with uh, the new variants uh, more now because many of them are not vaccinated yet and some of them are not eligible to be vaccinated but there are enough vaccinated people around that many of the people who are now getting uh, uh, this uh, COVID are uh, having mild cases the ones that are vaccinated and even for those who have not been uh, if they can get in there early enough they've been dramatically improve the treatments uh, so that the while you might still be in the hospital for too long, uh, uh, most are not going on ventilators there. They're turning around getting better, even though a lot of people are dying. Uh, but uh, things are getting back to normal, and especially for the kids being in school. Good. Well, you've said it all. Well, did I put wait? So are you playing a game of Fortnite? Wait, did you put me on mute? Are you on? Are you still online? That's right. We don't. We're still online. We're not back in our class. Well, actually, this is our classroom. So, <laughs> nicely done. Uh, you know, I like that look best. It makes you look intelligent. That's the frozen look. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you look good. Hey, um, listen, everybody. Uh, stay well. Stay healthy. Get back to normal um, and uh, be smart about uh, the virus. Yeah, and also uh, uh, we're, we sometimes we don't know how to end these conversations. But if you have uh, particular things that have happened with you, with your kids or grandkids back to school, let us know uh, so we can share it with everybody else. You know, but make it extreme. If it's just like it's okay, we're not we're not interested. But if it's an extreme, like it really sucks or uh, it's uh, a, a really good experience. Uh, let us know, and we'll share it with yeah. everybody else. And we'll see you next week, right here on Celebrating Act Two. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.